happy September 1, my friend. It's here, it's here, September's here. For those of you looking for fall, it's not far away. I've seen the leaves changing and coming down. It's gonna be so pretty. So I'm Pat Sloan, I'm so happy you're here. We have the uh, chicken salad today, quilt along. I've got pressed flowers. I've got some mail to show you and just a few other things. But I wanna do the uh, sew sampler with the pressed flower block first. Oh, well, wait, wait, before we do that, the celebrations of the day, there are quite a few. This is sewing month. The whole month of September is sewing month. So uh, get in there and sew every single day. It's your job, you know, you have to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> it is also College Colors Day. So share quilts with your favorite college colors or college themed fabric, et cetera, et cetera. And, and my favorite, it is Pink Cadillac Day. Oh my goodness, Pink Cadillac. Okay, gotta show you this. Now I'm not sure if this is a caddy or not. As I'm filming this, Mr. Greg is not actually in the house to ask him. So, uh, <laughs> But like, you know, these are these really nice models that everything opens, you know, the doors open. Look at that interior, pink Cadillac. I, I think it's a caddy, but if it's not, it should be. So if you have a pink Cadillac quilt, I would love to see it. This model actually was his dad's. It's my father-in-law of Roy's, and so we now have it. I love it, I love it so much. Let's do mail, because I have some great mail Okay, backed up a little bit, so a couple pieces. So I wanna show you that first. This is from Anna in Virginia. So she sent, look how cute those, those birds are. Look how cute. And then she had some really fun fabrics that I might be able to use in the critter quilts. So that is, look at the, well, you saw it there. Look at these, look at these guys. They are perfect. They're gonna be perfect to kind of fussy cut in the critter quilt. And then she sent me some other fun, there's some salvages. Look at those, look at that pumpkin. And some Santa, Santa on a black and white checkerboard. Now I love that, I love that. They're so cool. And some fall fabrics, Oh, Nice, nice, thank you so much. All right, now I also have, let's see. <laughs> Lots of fun things. This is from, uh, Vanessa, Vanessa in Alabama. So Vanessa in Alabama sent me also some fabrics, uh, some pink flamingos. So I, I think that'll be a great spacer in the critter quilts. And some elephants, look at that. Also super good. And <laughs> let me just show you. So one's got some flowers and bees and Oh, they're so cute. So we'll see how everything fits in. I mean, you all have written that you understand if they don't, if they don't quite, you know, jive with the quilt. But I have three more to make. So you, they, I will, I think that eventually, you know, I'm going to need a little spacer. So those are all going to go in the boxes with, with that fabric. Okay. This one is, I have to, okay, this is from Gina in Colorado. Look, look at the great barn quilt. I love that. And she made, there's a critter in here. Before I get to the critter, she, she was going through her fabrics and she found this sailboat fabric for me. <gasps> oh my gosh. This will make a cute pillow front. Just, I love it. I love it. I think I have this in peach and I didn't get the blue. This is from uh, Sharon Holland, one of Sharon Holland's lines. <clears throat> and I love her fabric. Okay, what did Gina send us? Well, she wrote it, so I, I didn't open it, but I read what it was. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at these. Look at these little turtles. Look at them. Look how cute they are. <gasps> this is one of Wendy Shepard's patterns uh, from a book, and so I will put that on the Critter page. I'll put the turtles. <gasps> Such a great size because I need a few smaller critters to fit in and around uh, when I'm working with those bigger blocks. Okay, this is, a, this is one from Wendy Shepard, speaking of Wendy, and she wanted to contribute to the quilt, Critter Quilt as well. She follows along. Look, she sent one of her kitties. Look how precious that is. And it's in one of the smaller sizes. I think that's probably a six inch uh, finished. Thank you, thank you. And one more. Then we're gonna go to the sam sampler, the sew sampler. This is from um, Georgia and South Dakota. Oh, she sent such a cute card. There we go. Look at that. 
Thank you. Oh, look at the little sticker she put on the back. Look how sweet the bird is. I love that. And so she, she actually mailed it in the little bag <laughs> that was in the package. So, so darling. Uh, let me just show you what's in here. There is an autumn. Okay, we're in September. This is perfect. So I can either hang it like this or I could put it out in my display area. Oh, he is in a mushroom. There's a mushroom on there. I'm the mushroom lady now. Oh, she sent me some polka dots, which are to protect your fingers when you're doing... Um, uh, you know, binding or hand applique or any kind of, you know, embroidery, my cross stitch. That is nice. So I've got, oh, this are, these are pretty. There's a pair of earrings in here. Okay, I'm just going to slide them down. Look at that. Look at those. Ah, oh, with the sunflower on there. Okay, I've got, she sent along a whole lot of fun stickers, which I'm going to have to put this is like a sticker book so I'm gonna get some stickers out I think maybe it's from this one <laughs> for for September don't you think and then some fabric here let's see let's see <gasps> these are big critters look at them <gasps> look 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 oh my goodness those are so cute pink and orange I love pink and orange and there's mushrooms the squirrel with the mushroom look at the hedgy look at his little face <gasps> Oh my goodness. Does it say on there? This a line is called the spirit to create from Sp free spirit fabrics. I didn't see this one. See, you guys send me stuff I have not seen. <gasps> I don't get to see everything as when I was on the road teaching and I did classes, you all brought different fabrics to class. So it was really fun because I got to see a lot of things I didn't normally see. All right, let me just get move this to the side and get the sew sampler box. So the Sew Sampler is a subscription box and I show it at the end of the month now. That seems to work out well. If you have uh, a subscription but you have not received yours yet, then uh, close your eyes, skip forward. So <laughs> these are the pressed flowers. The Fat Quarter Shop generally, um, well they always in the, in the sampler box have a monthly um, pattern. But this year with the pressed flowers, they did a bunch of different colorations with different fabric lines and one of those being my my fabric sleepover isn't that and and uh they sent the you know coloration so i could see it and make the blocks to sew along in my fabric perfect it's just perfect i love it so much so let's first look at what's in the box it always has a theme and our theme is the golden hour you know what that is that's the best hour for taking photography which is at dusk and then there, they have, oh, there's something there, something there. Uh, they have the little guide, which, you know, tells you what everything is. So if I can't guess, <laughs> there's always fabric and some little goodies and a pattern for the fabric. So, so let's see, let's just first look at this because this is like rolled up in there. Okay, so, so this is a, from Tearaway Quilting papers all right so these kinds of papers have been out and about in the world for many years tear away papers you put it down and then you can free motion uh, the design so this here you go so you will place this it's like all folded up you'll place this on your quilt and then you can follow so if you are new to free motion quilting this is a fantastic one to start with they probably have a bunch of other designs because I, I recognize that company name. Uh, so there's lots of other things you could do. Well, there's some on the back. So there's some on the back. Very fun. I actually used uh, one of these type of papers on my I Believe quilt many years ago to do the border, which was like a swag and a big bows. And it worked out super well. So well. All right. So what else did they send? In here, we also have some thread some oh this is very useful gray thread this is metler right yes yeah, metler um it's a cotton so this one is a cotton so sewing thread and look at oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this it's so cute <gasps> a one and a half inch ruler oh my god does it have a hole so we can like hang it on the tree oh, that's what i would do hang it on my hang it on a tree you have a sewing tree they didn't put a holder and they didn't put a, a, a thing in it so you have to make like a little something and place it in and hang it on our tree <laughs> that is so cute okay and fabric 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 so 
let me just we had to break into this it's called day in the life from Ec from um this paper echo park paper company okay day in the life there we go oh it looks nice looks super nice and i will link you to everything because most things you can purchase uh, that are in the box you can also purchase just this box or just the pressed flowers um, pattern so <gasps> look you know i love these rainbows like this and nice 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 oh dots scattery dots little flowers great scale little plaid couple plaids and this wonderful stripe and then they give you the pattern is is exclusive to the box so that is the pattern for the box for this but you can only get that when you buy the box and they have extras of the boxes this year so all year and the pattern they're called it's called roses this this month let me show you mine so excited to show you mine and then all of them up there so here it is with my sleepover fabric which is primarily with these purples and pinks uh, and i think it's just coming together so amazing so i hope some of you are doing this on my website today will be a close-up of this and all of them together for those of you who are sewing it with my fabric and you can buy just that single pattern as well for, for the um so i'll put it in the center because these are all on point so there, later uh there's there is a great layout but Fat Quarter Shop gives that at the end, so I can't show you. It's a surprise, but it is a great layout. It and it comes. It is so gorgeous in my fabric. I really, I love it. <laughs> okay, so there they are. Look at them. They look so good. Okay, all you purple people eaters, purple, purple, purple. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's do the chicken salad. And I'm also just going to show you how I use uh, Lori Holt's plastic templates for doing fusible applique, how I trace them with them. So I'll show you the tracing portion of that. Uh, and I will we'll do our, the block, which is the pear. So let me just uh, get to the other side. So for the chicken salad, let's get into it. We have the, uh, in this book, so the next block is the pears across the top and it is in this book, and there is the pear block from the book. Uh, what I'm gonna do is show you the fabrics that I am going to use because this happens to be the only one that I noticed that has uh, extra fabric pulled from stash um, when they did it, when the Fat Quarter Shop did the quilt. It is not one from that collection, that cookbook collection. So let me just show you the, uh, the fabric options for them. Oh, I didn't grab, what do I, I gotta grab the stem. Hold on, hold on, hold on there. So the, the project, the actual physical quilt that was done was using this and this, and then a different yellow from one of Lori Holt's basics lines. And then this was the center. The, here, let me just make the background a little bigger. So, so there was, this was the center of the other pair. So I am going to pull this fabric to use and then this will be the center part of that pair this is a full pair and then stems and leaves so those are two those are all the fabrics for for the actual pair block now I want to show you if you want to use just what is in that fabric line our ambassador Yvonne did this she used this fabric for the other pair and then she used which one not this one hold on Hold on again. Okay, then she used this one that has the yellow X's and the green pairs. See, there's two. This one has re the blue X's and yellow pairs. See on this one, this one has green pairs and yellow. So she used the one with the green pairs and that is the center. So if you don't want to put add any extra fabric, this is an option. And you, you should have enough of this guy left because you're not using that much just for the center of the pair. But I am going to go ahead and pull this one and do it <coughs> and do it like this. So there, I had a cough, sorry about that. All right, so I need to cut this up and make the pair. And the backgrounds, let me just show you so you can see them because here's the layout. And for those of you looking for sizes, the sizes are all written in this pattern. 
she has written her pattern so the cut sizes are by fabric uh, so under each fabric are all the chicken parts and the background parts uh, it's done by piece of fabric so it's a different way of laying it out but I gave you a cheat sheet you got four and a half by four and a half squares and four and a half by eight and a half rectangles all of the layout all the squares are four and a half all the rectangles are four and a half by eight and a half so these are the fabrics used for the pair you've got um, the cherries and this the blue green tan uh, pots and pan whoops are they upside down yeah pots and pans <laughs> get that direction right the tossed uh, uh, kitchen items on blue and then this wallpapery kind and remember I'll show you what because I'll have it all done but the settings now are on the top so we're up here on the top like this so that's all the settings I'm doing this setting goes to the one below so I'm doing the top and the side for our block okay let me put that together so here are all the parts and I am a huge fan of the alpha bitties. They come in, well, some are decorative like this one. And then there are the basics, which come in a couple colors. And then there's this add on, which has the expansion pack, all the different numbers, double number, you know, like 10 up and the double letters, which you do need sometimes for some projects, but I've got it all laid out. Here is the uh, border that goes around this block. And then we have pair number one, pair number two, leaves and background. So everything is all marked. I'm going to sew this and meet you on the other side. But first, before we see the block, here is where I put the YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. Look at that. Turns out so good. It's very shiny. <laughs> kind of hard to, to see it from a distance, but you all know what it looks like, right? So there it is. So I can see it on that wall, can live there permanently. So this is the cute chicken for those of you doing chickens. This is this week's uh, little girl. <laughs> I will on Wednesday, I wrote it down for Wednesday. Wednesday, I will take the templates and show you how to use them for fusible applique by machine, the method that I do. I will show you how to use them for tracing off the pattern because uh, the templates are a little bit different. They're not the way appliqueers, you know, use it for fusible. Usually we just trace a piece of paper. Uh, so I'll just show you the difference and what that is on Wednesday. So I want to remind you to download your calendar for projects. This is a project calendar, has the fun days. Then it also has the second page, which is all of the projects themselves. Uh, and the wiener dogs, you'll, you'll see, we're doing the wiener dogs like the week coming up to Jelly Roll Day. So that Monday through Friday, we'll be sewing the wiener dog. <laughs> I just, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. So um, I think Monday I'll talk, I mean, Tuesday rather. There's no video Monday. Let's just get that out of the way. There's no video on Monday. It's a holiday. So on Tuesday, I will talk about the wiener dog some and these other projects. So we'll go over a little bit about what's coming up and what's, what the things are. All right, my friend, don't forget if you want to get the sampler box, you just want to buy just this box. That is available because you get this absolutely darling pattern and super cute fabrics, plus all the other goodies that I showed you earlier and trying out the papers, which they do come in a bunch of other styles. So when I link you in the description box below and at my website, you can see the other style of papers and make your pressed flower block, the middle one there. All right, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.